The location of a $100 million stash of unused Mikey money has been revealed, sitting in a state government bank account gathering interest. Commuters can claim back their money, but public transport advocates say the system needs an urgent overhaul. Eliza Rugg reports. More than 42 million Mikeys have been distributed over the past decade. The system has eventually won over some commuters. You just top it up when you want to um, and, yeah, it clicks on and clicks off. No issues. Reasonably easy. It's, I mean, not, lots of people don't use it, honestly, to tap on, but I think it's pretty good. Those who haven't tapped on a train, tram or bus for more than 12 months have helped boost the government's coffers. Almost $105 million of unused Mikey credit attached to expired or inactive cards is currently sitting in a state government bank account. The funds haven't been touched, but they are earning interest. This is disgraceful. We're in a cost of living crisis and the government is profiteering off Victorians' hard-earned money. A lot of Mikey cards are registered. The government can and should make the effort to contact people. It's up to passengers to head to a staff train station for a refund or to move their money onto a new Mikey. If they're expired, they will not lose any money. They can transfer the remaining funds on that card to a new card. I just managed to get it updated and chop it up. The station at the front? Yes. Yeah, really seamless. The current Mikey contract is due to expire in November. The transition to a more modern system could take months. Currently, only Android phone users can tap and pay. Commuters with Apple devices still need a physical Mikey. Credit card fare payments would fix the, the expired cards problem for a lot of people. Eliza Rugg, Nine News.